From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and, while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're weird. Ever get into an argument while playing a card game or a board game? Well, a 31-year-old Minnesota man has been charged with stabbing another guy and hitting him with a mallet after an argument broke out during a game of Magic the Gathering. First, he lost his mind – that's plus one – then he lost his friend – negative two – and finally he lost his freedom – negative six. A poll says 33 percent of Americans are happy. Now, how you feel about that statistic probably lets you know which category you fall in. A new app called the Kissinger is a rubber gadget that attaches to the user's phone to simulate long-distance kissing. With your lover smooching you from another location, the Kissinger mimics a real kiss using pressure sensors and actuators. So now you can tell somebody to kiss my grits from across the country and still mean it literally. The Cowboys' David Irving says he injured his nipple when he lost a nipple ring at camp. But then it's kind of hard to feel sorry for a guy who has a nipple ring. A young British couple has gone public with details of their very strange relationship. Adam Gillette, 27, and partner Beatrice Gibbs, 22, say that their one-sided open relationship makes them happy and they're not concerned with what others think. So basically, she can sleep with other men, but he has to remain faithful, on the condition that she doesn't leave him. Beatrice explained, I love Adam, but I wasn't ready to settle down and commit to just one man. He, on the other hand, was terrified that she would leave him, so would rather allow her to have the occasional fling than have to worry about losing her. Beatrice says she sometimes feels a little guilty about seeing other people, but after a chat and a cuddle with Adam, things quickly get back to normal. She keeps things purely physical with the other guys, and Adam says the arrangement takes away the worry of her cheating on him. Um, no, she is cheating on you. Sleeping with other people while committed to you is the definition of cheating. Saying it's not cheating doesn't make it not cheating. I mean, I can call a chicken sandwich a celery stick all day long. That doesn't make it anything other than a chicken sandwich. In Nice, France over the weekend, an airport worker reportedly punched a man holding a baby after the man complained about a 13-hour delay on an EasyJet flight. Oh, EasyJet. Man, I would have bet money this story took place on United Airlines. Elementary school students in Marion County, Florida will have more free time after school this year as the school district implements a controversial homework ban. The goal is to eventually make Florida's main export fast food workers. Starbucks is starting to sell their own brand of ice cream at 100 of their locations in the U.S. It's just like regular ice cream, except it tastes a little burned and it's four times more expensive. Grandparents and their faraway grandkids are sure keeping the conversation going thanks to modern technology. About 80 percent of grandparents reach out and touch their grandkids at least once a month via texting, Facebook, Skype, Twitter, instant messaging, or good old-fashioned phones, says an AARP survey. While gabbing up a storm, the topics uh, discussed usually include morals and values 78 percent of the time, staying safe at 73 percent, college and careers at 72 percent, and religion and spirituality 66 percent of the time. And it's not that grannies or grandpas are bypassing their own kids. 84 percent of them say they contact their children at least once a month. But come on, let's face it, that's probably to talk about the grandkids. Stephen Colbert is going to produce a cartoon series for Showtime about the Trump White House. Apparently, he cannot fit all of his Trump bashing into his one-hour every weeknight show and needs to find another outlet. President Trump doesn't mind that his new communications director is taking public shots at his chief of staff. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders says Trump actually enjoys there being a competitive Game of Thrones dynamic among his staffers. In fact, starting after Labor Day, Trump's going to hold bare-knuckle cabinet member fights in the Rose Garden. A report says the obesity epidemic is affecting 711 million people worldwide. 7-Eleven. Hey, there's that number again. Who's in the mood for a cherry slurpee and a nacho cheese-covered hot dog? 
Arizona has a new concept regarding executions, an idea one lethal injection expert calls unprecedented, wholly novel, and frankly absurd. Are you ready for this? The Arizona Department of Corrections well, they've had a lot of problems acquiring the standard execution drugs uh, pentobarbital and thiopental, so they are suggesting that lawyers provide the drugs to be used to kill their own clients. Yes, <laughs> not only is this obviously unethical, but the plan is simply legally impossible. For, uh, well, the makers of pentobarbital they won't allow the drug to be used in executions, and thiopental isn't sold in the U.S. and it can't be imported. I mean, these, these, you're all acting like lethal injections the only way to kill somebody, though. I mean, there are other options that are a lot easier to execute somebody. I mean, shooting squad, hanging, guillotine, binge watching the view. A couple in Florida have announced their Trump divorce. She was a devout Trump supporter. He was a staunch Democrat, and after less than two years, it just wasn't working. Really shouldn't be a big surprise, though. House Republicans and Democrats never get along. A new study says that 42 percent of millennials have not started saving for their retirement. Uh, I only have one question. What is this mysterious word? Retirement. Ohio firefighters rescued a 45-year-old woman in Sheffield Lake who called 911 after a boa constrictor wrapped around her neck and began biting her face. The giant reptile was one of two snakes she had rescued the day before, though police have not said how or where. A firefighter used a pocket knife to cut off the snake's head. The woman was taken to a hospital for apparent non-life-threatening injuries. The woman had 11 snakes, including nine ball pythons and the boa constrictors. 11 snakes! The only way this story makes sense is if the woman's name is Medusa. A study finds that blowing out birthday cake candles is a horrible way to treat your friends at your party because it spreads a tremendous number of germs. But hey, you know, then again, maybe your secret birthday wish is to spread the flu around. Coke Zero is getting a new name. Coke Zero Sugar. That's right, it's new and improved because we've added the word sugar to the name. Vladimir Putin has expelled 755 U.S. diplomats as punishment for the new U.S. sanctions against Russia. Oh, uh, so, so I have to leave Russia and can never come back? Oh, boo-hoo! Oh, how will I go on? Oh, woe is me! This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook anthology Last Exit by Jason R. Davis. It is the dark and lonely road. You drive, you're tired and falling asleep behind the wheel. The windows are down, the cool air blowing through your hair as you crank up the stereo. ACDC blares on the radio and you're screaming out the chorus. Then a set of headlights emerges from the darkness and your night has become a nightmare. Welcome to Last Exit, an anthology of 17 horrific tales where life on the road can sometimes take a dark and unexpected turn. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!